here are my eyeliners. Over here are my oops. Over here are my gel eyeliners. So first I have Max Fluid Line in Black Track. It's a black gel eyeliner. And these three are from a company called Indettable Indet Indettable whatever. I'll write it out for you guys. Um, I bought it from the Mad Minerals website, but I think you can get, also get it from Aromalay, Aromalay Minerals website. This one's called Scuba Dive. It's a dark navy liner. The next one is called Venomous. It's a medium purple. Venomous. And the last one I have here is called Endangered. And it's like a dark hunter green. Okay. Um, here are my pencil liners. Um, this is Max PowerPoint Eye Pencil in Engraved. And it's just a black eyeliner. This is Eyes, Lips, Face Eye Widener in pearl white. Sharpen is included. It's a piece of crap. <laughs> I bought this from Jack's 99 cent store and the packaging had a typo on it. Even if you bought it, you know, for the big retail price of one dollar on Islip's Face's website, this is a piece of crap. Um, here are my Rimmel London's Soft Coal Kajal Eye Pencil. It's spelled Kajal, but I believe it's pronounced Kajal. Okay, Soft Coal Kajal Eye Pencil. The top one is in Jungle Green, and the bottom blue one is called Cool Blue. And these are meant to be smudged out. Um, if you want like a precise line, don't get these. Don't use these because these smudge like crazy. Here I have just a random cheap pencil by a brand called Wild and Crazy. And the color is digital. Digital. It's like a dark grayish. I don't know if you could tell. I don't think I've ever used that. Here's another um, relatively cheap drugstore brand. It's called Jordana. The color of the pencil is navy. And it's a blue eye pencil. Here I have my very first liquid liner. It's Maybelline's Ultra Liner in Waterproof. Um, oops. This is pretty good for a beginner, but it flakes like crazy on me. Um, and it, <laughs> the way it flakes is good for a beginner because once it starts to flake, you could basically peel it off and it'll just come off in like one piece. Like, like you know when glue dries on your fingertips and you, you can just easily peel it off? That's what this is like for me. So, you know, a, instead of other liners like gel, permanent line gel liners. Um, if you mess up with this, it's really hard to clean up. If you guys have ever used fluid lines, you know what a pain it is to clean up any mistakes. While this one, you could just peel off your mistakes. Um, yeah, so it flakes like crazy. And this is really old. I should. This is going to be thrown out as soon as this video is done. Here I have my Wet n Wild eyeliners. Um, I heard really good things about their Mega Liner, not the waterproof version. So I bought it in black and I love it. The brush is like long and thin. Um, I also got it in... What is this color? They don't have names. They only have um, numbers. This is 864. It's like a purple color. It's alright. I want to try out the other colors though in Mega Liner. And I also bought it in the waterproof version, H2O proof liquid liner, and this sucks. This, the tip of this is really hard and I hate those liners. So this is my eyeliner collection. 
So these are what I use for bases under my eyeshadows. Here are Wet n Wild's Mega Eye Cream Eyeshadows. I still kept them in their plastic cases because I like them. Um, the lighter color is called Champagne Toast and Cafe Ole is the darker one. So the one on the left is Cafe Ole. And this one is Champagne Toast. Okay, and these are the Maybelline Cool Effect Cooling Shadow Slash Liners that I showed in my haul video. Okay, um, I'll go through them really quickly. Um, the far left is Chill the Champagne. The one next to it is... <laughs> Luscious Lilac. Um, this one here is Bronze Shimmer. And then the last one is Wink of Pink. And then I have this Neutrogena Shimmer Shears. This is for cheeks, eyes, and lips. And it's in the color Charmed. This I bought a long time ago, so I don't even know if they still make these. This is so old, I really can't remember when I last used it. I should probably throw this out. Yeah, I'm going to throw this away. <laughs> and here is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. For any eye look, I put this on underneath everything. Even if I'm using these or these, I always put Primer Potion underneath. Um, so these over here, they just serve as like color bases to help bring out the colors, um, vibrancy of eyeshadows, while this is to help prevent creasing and help the shadows last longer. This is really good stuff. It works. And these are my eyeshadow palettes. Okay. It's not... A whole lot. <laughs> Over here we've got cream eyeshadows from Revlon. These are Illuminous Cream Shadows. Okay, the one on top is called Not Just Nudes. Not Just Nudes. This one is called Pink Petals. Over here are my Eyes Lip Face Brightening Eye Color Quads. This one is in Butternut. This one here is called Drama. And this one is called Lux. Okay, and these two quads over here are both Korean brands. This one is called Remit. It's cool. Got it from a, a Korean cosmetics store. And this one is by a brand called Isa Knox. And what I like about these Korean eyeshadow quads is that they all come with this swinging plastic door to cover the eyeshadows and I like it because it keeps the rest of the palette clean and free of the eyeshadow dust. Okay. Here's my Maybelline quad that I showed in my haul video from Jack's 99 cent store. This is Expert Wear Eyeshadow in Mystic Meadow. Um, this is really old. This is, it's so old the writings come off. But this is a Bond Bell Eye Style Shadow Box in Cafe Classics. Okay. I use the top color as a highlighter for probably the later half of my high school years. <laughs> so this is really old. <laughs> 